Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to convert your physical machine into a VMware workstation virtual machine uh, using a program called Starwind V2V Converter. So what this will do is you'll take your physical computer like the one I have right here and I'm going to convert the disk file so I could um, add it to a virtual machine in VMware workstation and run it in my environment there. So this program, it'll actually do it for other stuff too, like for Hyper-V and actually for ESXi and so on. But I'm going to show you how to do it for um, VMware Workstation, and then you can figure out how to do it for what you need. Okay, so once you install the program and run it, you'll have this screen here. I'll put a link to the program in the description. So what you want to do is you want to click P2V, Convert Physical Machine or Disk, because we're converting the physical machine. Click on Next. And now you have the option for entire machine. This has two hard drives, a smaller C drive and a larger E drive. And I don't have room to convert the whole thing, so I'm just going to do the C drive. So you could do the volume or you could do the physical disk. I like to do physical disk because it's the whole thing is one volume. You, you know, your, yours might be different, so you, gotta, you choose these settings based on what you want to do. Next. Okay, so now I'm going to pick the C drive here. And you can see I have all these different labels here for the uh, like recovery partition and all that other good stuff. So I'm just going to pick them all so I have everything on the C drive. Click on Next. And you could also do this for, like, let's say you have a secondary drive and you want to convert it to a secondary drive for an existing VM. You could use this as well and do that. Okay, so I want to do local file. You would think you'd want to do remote VMware ESXi server, but if you do that, it's going to want the IP address name and password for your ESXi server, but this is not ESXi, it's VMware Workstation. So I'm going to click on Local File, then you can see you also have a Hyper-V option, an Azure, and AWS. Okay, so now I want to pick my VMDK file, VMware Virtual Disk file, because that's what VMware uses. And you also have VHX, VHDX for uh, Hyper-V. We'll click on next. Okay, so now I want to do either the growable or pre-allocated image. That's up to you. But I'm going to do the growable image. And if you think you're going to need to activate your Windows repair mode after you're done, you could check this box. But I'm going to leave it unchecked. Click on next. So now I'm going to find a place to put it. So, But since I'm converting the C drive, I don't want to do the conversion on the C drive itself. So I'm going to pick my D drive here, and I have a folder for it, PTV VM. So I'm going to put it there, and it took the name of the computer, which is Win 10. So I'll just leave that. Click on Save. So it says space needed, 201 gigabytes, space available, 497. So that's fine. So I'm going to click on Convert. So what I'll do now is to take a snapshot of my C drive. And then it'll actually do the conversion. So this will take some time. So I will pause the video and be back when it's done. Okay, so it's done. It says converted successfully. So click on finish. And now I have my VMDK file right here in my P2V VM folder, which is that's where I'm going to create my VM as well. So I'll just copy that path. All right, so now I'm going to go create a new virtual machine. And I'm going to do a custom, so I could select the uh, hard drive or virtual hard disk. Okay, everything looks good here. Workstation 16.2. I will install the operating system later because I already have an operating system, so there's no need to mount a Windows ISO file. Okay, Windows, Windows 10 and later, 64-bit. That's good. Okay, we'll call this uh, converted. UFI is good. Uh, processors will go with that. We'll just bump it up to about six gigs of RAM. Okay, and that's fine because that's the default. LSI, that's fine too. NVMe, that's fine as well. Okay, now here's where we attach our virtual disk. So use an existing virtual disk. Click on that and browse. Okay, type it in here. Okay, there's the file we just converted right there. Click on next. 
Now you could either keep the existing format or you could update it to the uh, current or newer version. So we're going to up, or actually we're going to convert it. Okay, and if we need to customize the hardware, we could do that and, you know, add any other additional hardware that we might need. But well, we're not going to do that. So click on finish. Okay, so now we have our converted VM and we're ready to start it up and see what happens. Okay, I'll get rid of this for now. Okay, there's our window screen, so that's good. Okay, so now it says looks like Windows didn't load correctly, and that's probably because when it made the, uh, con converted the file there, Windows was running, and now we're starting it from a state where it was running. So you could either see advanced repair options, or I just like to do restart my PC, and it usually works out. Okay, so now we got our log on screen. Let's see what happens here. Log in with the user here. All right, so now we got the Windows desktop there. So all we would need to do is uh, Install VMware tools so you kind of get the resolution a little better there, and I think we are good to go. Let's, uh, okay, it's connecting to the network there. Start menu works. Okay, we got some uh, internet here. Click on eBay, see if it takes us there. Yep. Yeah, so looks like we're good. So like I said, just uh, install the converter there, uh, convert your file and import it into your VMware environment and start it up and you should be good to go, hopefully. Like I said, I'll put a link to the software in the description and you can try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.